Welcome back, everyone, and happy Wednesday. So right now, current temperatures across the Rio Grande Valley are in the mid to upper 80s. But remember, it does feel a little bit hotter just because of the humidity in place across the Rio Grande Valley. But we do have some rain chances, but they are on the lower end, anywhere from a 10 to a 20 percent. And not only for today, but for the next couple of days. So unfortunately, that's not really going to help us out. And here's a closer look on our drought monitor that we had over this past week. Week. So dry conditions across the Rio Grande Valley that's indicated within the yellow shading and we do get a new drought monitor tomorrow at 8 a.m. So this could potentially get a little bit worse, especially since we're not really going to have higher rain chances these next couple days, just hot and muggy conditions as we head into the weekend. So for this afternoon around the hottest time of day, those highs are going to be in the 90s for most of us. The high for Brownsville is going to be 89. So Brownsville is still hanging on to the night to the 80s. The Harlan is going to have a high of 91, Westico as well, and Rio Grande City 93 and Roma 94 under partly cloudy skies. But remember, because of the humidity, we are actually going to feel a little bit warmer than the actual temperature. So even though the highs are going to be in the low 90s, it's going to feel feel like the mid 90s for most of us across the Rio Grande Valley. And the reason why we've been very warm and muggy these last couple of days is because of our winds. Our winds have still been coming in from the south southeast, bringing in that warm Gulf moisture, which means that it's bringing in the humidity and the mugginess and the stickiness that most of us are not a fan of across the Rio Grande Valley. However, today our winds are a little bit stronger than yesterday. We could have wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, and that's going to continue as we we head into tonight so it is going to help us out quite a bit from these hot conditions and those clouds those clouds are going to help block out some of that sun so it's not going to be too too bad but still nonetheless if you do have plans to be outside or even if you work outside make sure to drink plenty of water and take a lot of breaks but as far as those rain chances go most of the rain is going to be to our north and east but we could potentially see a few sprinkles a shower here and there but remember the chances are are a little bit on the lower end and that's going to be the same kind of story these next couple days as we head into the weekend however this upcoming work week things are going to be a little bit different and that's just because of those temperatures getting a little bit hotter so by Monday and Tuesday those temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s but remember we're still going to have very humid conditions so even though temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s it's going to feel like the upper 90s to low 100s. so keep that in mind these next couple of days